presenting on uh, uh, actually about the sport of skateboarding. Uh, and I'd like to uh, first start off with a little bit of background information, uh, just in case some of you aren't as familiar with skateboarding as others. Um, skate skateboarding uh, became more popular, uh, well, it started out in the 60s. And it wasn't until the late 80s and early 90s that it, it became uh, popular enough to be considered uh, like a, a full-blown sport with actual competitors and things like that, at least to the, to the general public. And um, along with the popularity, you had figures like Tony Hawk, uh, Eric Costin, and, and different skateboarders like that becoming uh, household names along with uh, the different video games and media coming out surrounding skateboarding. So. Uh, as the as the sports becoming more popular, uh, you know the, these figures are becoming uh, household names and, and are often considered the most important figures in, in skateboarding. But I, I'd like to argue that there's one skateboarder in particular who is by far the most influential person uh, in the sport, without a doubt in my mind, um, Rodney Mullen. Um, Rodney Mullen started skateboarding uh, in the mid '70s, and uh, he. He continues skateboarding today, um, and uh, I think after the presentation, it will be pretty clear in your mind that he's he's uh, definitely the reason why the sport is the way it is today. Um, in terms of his influence on uh, skateboarding, he's known that he, he's oftentimes called the Godfather, uh, and the reason why he, he's nicknamed that is because he's responsible for creating many of the modern tricks in uh, in street skateboarding. Also, he holds the best competition record uh, out of all professional skateboarders. And then uh, finally, he is largely, largely responsible uh, for the shape uh, of the modern skateboard and some of the technology uh, used uh, for modern skateboards used by all professional and amateur skateboarders pretty much today. All right, in terms of uh, tricks, Rodney Mullen in, uh, is accredited with with inventing over 30 tricks on the skateboard. Uh, and what's so important about that, other than that that's an incredible number, uh, that's an incredible, uh, incredibly creative mind behind it, is that he invented the most fundamental tricks you would see in sh street skating. Uh, this first one that I list, the flat ground ollie, that's simply the act of jumping with the skateboard while it's moving without using your hands. By, by popping the tail off the ground. He's the first one to, to develop that. He, he figured that out when he was just a teenager uh, in, in his uh, driveway, and he introduced it the, for the first time at a, at a competition, and no one had seen that before. Before uh, these competitions, it was just people spinning around doing handstands and things like that on, on the skateboard. And then uh, this kid shows up, and he's the first one to be able to jump with the board. Um, and so any trick that you would see nowadays uh, that's the absolute basic building block uh, in terms of any time you flip the board, uh, any time you go off a ramp or, or grind or, or go down uh, stairs, the basic mechanism for doing that is the flat ground dolly. So that alone uh, is, is incredible in terms of the influence on the sport. But he went on to invent the kick flip where you rotate the board uh, once, a, uh, once about its long axis, uh, heel flip, and uh, as the list goes on, the, the tricks become a little bit more uh, obscure. But uh, these, these are all, uh, what I'll be showing are all series of tricks that he invented and implemented in series. Um, now, for uh, other professional skateboarders, uh, or I guess uh, many would think that Tony Hawk would be the, the uh, best example of uh, an, an influential skater, but he's quoted saying that uh, many of the tricks that he developed uh, and he uh, used for uh, vert ramp skating, which is skating in the, kind of that U pipe, uh, he got those ideas from watching Rodney doing his routines uh, and tricks like doing finger flips and doing ollies. He, uh, after seeing that, he realized he could also pop the tail and jump up. So a lot of his moves that he uh, used in competition and are so famous for uh, was inspired by Rodney Mullen. Um, now, the professional professional skateboarder Jamie Thomas, who, who's considered kind of like an all-star skater, uh, is quoted saying that it wasn't until recently that he realized that every single trick he knows how to do on the skateboard was invented by Rodney Mullen. And I mean, and that seems maybe like a, a bit of an exaggerated uh, statement, but really when you look at how comprehensive the list is, uh, it, it becomes uh, more convincing. Uh, now, I was
was talking to my friend about it, and uh, uh, to my friend about Rodney Mullen, and I was trying to get uh, across my po the, the point that I'm making to you. And so I said, well, he's kind of like the Michael Jordan of skateboarding. But then I realized, actually, it's more like he's the Michael Jordan of skateboarding if Michael Jordan invented dribbling, passing, and shooting the basketball also. You know, I mean, uh, every element of, of street skateboarding uh, it can be attributed to his creative mind. Um, and so this is the last trick that I want to show you. Now, uh, a little bit more background. Uh, there, there used to be an event called freestyle in skateboarding, which was, which is kind of like, I guess, figure skating in that you have someone go out on, on just flat ground and they have a routine that they do to, uh, for however many minutes the competition allows, and ultimately they're judged for their tricks. Um, and Rodney uh, had his first professional competition at the age of 14 and took first place. And out of 37 competitions, he ended up placing second only one time. He, he placed first in all of the other competitions, which is uh, by far the best or, or more, most impressive record in professional skateboarding. Uh, and sadly, the, the flat ground uh, or the freestyle competition uh, is no longer really carried on. And that's partially because it had to kind of retire from Rodney Mullen because it became mainly a competition to see who could come in second and then the rest was the Rodney Mullen show. Uh, what new tricks were we gonna see this year from, from him? Uh, so in terms of being influential in, this, in the sport, he, he greatly raised the, the bar in terms of uh, technical prowess expected from skaters. And every year the, skate, the competitors would see what he does and then go home, try to learn the tricks and implement them in their routines because he, he basically introduced the new standard every time he competed. And finally, um, uh, Rodney Mullen uh, started a skateboard company with his friend Steve Rocco uh, in, in, uh, called World Industries. And you see this board on the left, that was his original pro model. It's a, it's a much smaller, uh, shorter, and, and thinner skateboard than you would see on the streets today. Um, and if you notice, it has a distinct tail that had, that's more square, and then a rounded, uh, flat nose. And now the skateboards you see today are, sim are symmetric. They, have, they don't have a really distinct nose or tail they both go up on either side. And that's helpful because then the skateboarder doesn't have to worry about the orientation of the board for tricks. Uh, you can do the trick in either position and, and there's some concavity to the board. And he designed the first skate, uh, Rodney is, designed the first skateboard uh, that's shaped like that. And he eventually refined it to, to this general shape today. So that's, it's basically ubiquitous in professional and amateur skateboarding, this, the, the model of this board. And, and really it was, uh, his innovation that, uh, that led to this. Um, and, the, and finally, he, he holds the, the original patent for what's called tensor trucks. They're the, uh, the metal piece that holds the, the wheels to the board. And he, he's actually a, a, a really brilliant physicist and mathematician, and, and so using his knowledge of, I guess, physics and engineering, he developed the model and holds, holds the patent. And now tensor trucks are, are considered uh, one of the top brands of trucks in the in skateboard industry. And they're, they're really important, especially for uh, more rigorous skating. Uh, it's the durability and the lightness of the truck is really important. Uh, and so even today, Rodney is considered uh, an absolute master of his craft. In 2002, he was voted Skater of the Year in Transworld Magazine, which is uh, years after he competed. Um, so ultimately, if it weren't for Rodney Mullen, we wouldn't have the tricks or the uh, technical level of skateboarding or the technology used in skateboarding that we have today. So really, if you think about it, he's the Michael Jordan of skateboarding. If Michael Jordan invented dribbling, shooting, passing, the shape of the ball, and maybe the